couch surfers. Chapter 13. Minutes later, Bonnie saw a cloud of black smoke rising over the garage and a bright flame burning the roof. She waved over to Rick and yelled out, Hey, guys, the garage is on fire. Rick turned to Susie and shook her awake. Then Bonnie ran from the porch to the garage. The smoke smothered the entire field and carried out into the driveway. Jose and Cindy stumbled out the side door, coughing. One of them yelled out, The place is burning up. What happened? Bonnie asked. Jose unrolled a garden hose. Cindy was at his side with trembling fingers. I think it was the gas can. I smelled gas. Where's Orville? Bonnie asked. Susie said. I don't know. We went in to find the tire and heard a loud noise. It sounded like a toolbox tipped over. I could smell a cigarette someone was smoking and then there was the smell of gas. Real strong. Suddenly Orville stumbled out with two fire extinguishers. I told you not to go in there. Now we've got a fire. Smoke kept filling the air. Jose grabbed the extinguisher and ran back inside. Orville and Cindy followed. Bonnie snuck in behind them after they entered. She kept low on the floor, trying to see into the smoke. Orange flames were burning, and the ceiling was covered in black, smoky swirls. And as Orville blasted the fire with the extinguisher, a thick haze of white powder filled the air. Bonnie only could hear Jose yelling again at her, and she started yelling back. Bonnie waved the smoke from her face and backed away to escape. Her eyes were stinging, and the air was hot. She coughed and pushed through the door, landing on a patch of wet grass outside. It was only a few minutes later when she heard Jose yell, She's dead, you bastard! When the door flew open, Jose shoved Orville out and kicked him to the ground. Orville rose with a clenched fist. You pushed her! No, you did! Jose belted him with a powerful punch, hitting him in the stomach. Orville crouched over. She tripped. She didn't trip into that fire. Bonnie raced over and Orville glanced at her. There was no clearing. I, I couldn't see her. I, I didn't know what happened, but he pushed her. Jose coughed and fell over. Bonnie didn't know who to trust. Who was telling the truth? Suddenly the roof collapsed and a plumage of burning wood spit black ash everywhere and red sparks covered the grass. Jose hurried to his feet and ran to the door. He tried to find a way to crawl back inside, but it was too late. A portion of the fallen wood blocked the passage. No! He cried out trying to find a way in, but even the front doors were blocked. He ran to side of the garage searching for another way inside. Cindy, honey, can you hear me? Are you all right? Bonnie hurried up to him. She glanced into every window, but it was too smoky. When Orville ran back to the house, the sound of thunder hit and a light rain started falling. He raced up the stairwell to the attic as Rick and Susie lumbered over from the swing set area. Jose sensed defeat and fell to his knees. He pounded the dirt relentlessly. No freaking way, this can't be. Rick kneeled at his side. Where's Cindy? That fucking sicko, he pushed her in the fire. I saw him. Bonnie glanced in his eyes. Are you sure? I'm telling you, I saw him do it. Susie reached out to Jose. Then she wrapped her arms around him. Her eyes were bloodshot and she was woozy. Oh, Jose, baby, what, what, what's going on? No one answered. They all knew she'd never understand anyways. Bonnie scanned the grassy fields and saw the black smoke rise up into the mountains. The rain was getting heavier, just in time to smother the fire. Then she saw a flash of lightning strike, louder thunder. Where did Orville go? Why'd he leave? She grabbed Rick's hand just as Jose fell in tears, shivering, reduced to shock. Rick's eyes met hers. We've got to get the hell out of here. I know, but how? 